Today, we will discuss Dreamscape, a 1984 sci-fi horror film starring Dennis Quaid, Kate Capshaw, Christopher Plummer, and David Patrick Kelly. The synopsis reads, A selfish teen, Alex Gardner, is coerced into joining a government project in which psychics like him are trained to enter dreams. He starts learning to use his abilities to do good, but before long, a new official, Bob Blair, seizes control of the project. A writer helps Alex uncover Blair's true motives, which involve assassination via dreams. Soon, only Alex and a beautiful scientist stand in the way of something terrible. The question I pose today, peeps, is, is Dreamscape the long-lost prequel to Inception? Before we tackle our question, let's discuss Inception, the film. Without a doubt, Christopher Nolan's film Inception is a visual masterpiece and a deeply intelligent film that offered moviegoers quite the experience. A film where the concept is we live in a world with dream sharing. Our main character, Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is an extractor, someone who can enter others' dreams then use that ability to steal secrets from their subconscious. So right off the bat, we see some similarities in the overall concept as well as main characters who can enter dreams and manipulate them to some degree. Let's dive a bit deeper. In Inception, there is heavy exposition and explanations of how the dreams work, the rules, and what each member of Cobb's crew can do in the dream world. But not so much about the origin of the technology they use. We know in the film they use serum to dose the people to sleep, but where did this technology come from? What government agencies can benefit from something like this? Who came up with the idea in the first place? Of course, Inception has its own story more centered on Cobb and his team's mission, so the film doesn't necessarily have all the time to tackle these answers. Enter Dreamscape. In Dreamscape, we follow Alex Gardner, a talented teenage psychic, while in the program started by a psychiatrist he knows that is experimenting with dream sharing. The project is in the very early stages, as displayed in the film. The goal of the project at this time is purely psychological. But of course, a project like this, especially if successful, will get the attention of some major players. As the film progresses, it lays down some key precursors for a possible future where this ability is more accessible to others, especially after proper funding from an organization such as the CIA. For instance, in the film we learn that Quaid's character Gardner can do more than just enter dreams of others, he can interact with the subjects as well. Then we learn from David Patrick Kelly's character, Tommy, that you can also create subjects within the dream and manipulate the surroundings, similar to the architects in Inception. From these two examples, we see the possible beginnings of the so-called architects and extractors that we have in the film Inception. Now, let's assume that Dreamscape is a logical prequel to Inception. It is not too far-fetched to think that a small project started by a professor and psychics on dream sharing as portrayed in Dreamscape would get the attention of other government organizations, and with the funding and training and years of experimenting, a project like this can easily be shaped into the technology and techniques used by our characters in Inception. Of course, these two films vary in genre. Dreamscape is a more sci-fi horror film, whereas Inception is more sci-fi mixed with spy elements. I don't want to take anything away from either of these films. Being a fan of both of them, I just find it fascinating that we live in a world where an amazing film director could have been influenced and inspired by an early 80s underground sci-fi horror gem. I urge all of you out there, my peeps, new subscribers, everybody, to give both these films a watch. I leave the verdict up to you. Is Dreamscape the long-lost prequel to Inception?